Lead was once widely used, but as evidence of its effect on health, on the development of the nervous system in children, uh, and other negative health consequences grew, it began to be banned. In the 1970s, it was banned from use in paint. And starting in the 1970s in the United States, new cars used unleaded gasoline. Prior to that, all passenger cars were emitting lead, which is a neurotoxin which uh, severely affects children. By the 1980s, most gasoline in the United States was unleaded, and it was banned from passenger cars entirely in 1996. Uh, leaded gasoline is still used in the fuels uh, which are used by planes, race cars, and in some farm equipment. As you can see in this image uh, from the country of Paraguay, where I served in uh, the Peace Corps, uh, leaded gasoline continued to be used outside the United States. So for example, you notice that the super gas is unleaded, sin plomo, it means unleaded. But the common gas is not. The, the gas which most passenger cars used continued to contain lead uh, in Paraguay long after it was banned from the United States. The United Nations helped many nations phase lead out of the gasoline used over 19 years, and Algeria was the last country to eliminate lead from passenger car gasoline in the year 2021. This phase out is thought to have saved trillions of dollars per year throughout the world in improvements to health and also in the reduction of crime given the strong association with lead levels and aggression. Lead is still used in ammunition for shooting sports and for some hunting, known as upland hunting. So for example, deer and grouse, but since 1991, no longer in the shot used for waterfowl. Eagles can ingest this lead from the carrying of deer or other animals, such as squirrels or turkeys, which have been shot with lead ammunition. Lead is also used in some fishing tackle, such as weights and sinkers, which can be left behind if line is broken. This can contaminate the environment. It could also be ingested by fish, which are then later ingested by eagles. Lead shot and fishing equipment with lead have been isolated from sick eagles and from underneath the nests of eagles. Lead contamination can accumulate over a lifetime and is often considered a silent killer of eagles. A lead fragment the size of a grain of rice is enough to kill a bald eagle because of the amount that will be absorbed into its system. A typical lead bullet has enough lead in it to poison 10 bald eagles. Acute lead poisoning is more common in bald and golden eagles during winter when both depend more on scavenging and the carrion that they eat might not only contain lead shot, um, but as a lead bullet goes through an animal, there can be a residue left in the wound area. In the year 2022, a scientific study was published in the journal Science titled Demographic Implications of Lead Poisoning for Eagles Across North America. In that study, over 1,200 samples from bald and golden eagles, about half living, half dead, were isolated from 38 states. Almost half of all bald and golden eagles showed signs of chronic lead poisoning, and up to a third of these eagles showed signs of acute lead poisoning. 